Wake up, sleepyhead. Let's see how that heart's doing. Are you feeling any better? That extra pain reliever should be taking effect by now. It's better. Thanks, Judy. Your mother and your son are outside with Richard. Are you ready to see them? I'll send Richard in first. I don't want to wear you out right away. We'll skip the jitterbug and just stick with the slow day. <laughs> Is there anything I can get you? Oh, no. The nurse gave me something. I'm sure it'll be better soon. I'm just glad you're here. I'm sorry I fell asleep earlier. What's that? Julie from the copy center brought yeah. you the stationery you wanted. And... You know, I can help you with Adam's letter. No, honey. I need to do that myself. Did the nurse tell you? Your mom is outside with Adam. Oh, boy. Now that Mom's here, the fun can really begin. I would like to see Adam, though. Richard. Can we just sit here for few minutes just alone. Feels like I always have to share you with somebody. Of course. So is Adam okay? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's as okay as a nine-year-old could be considering what he's going through. Your mom is driving me crazy. She is so completely in denial. She's showering Adam with things he doesn't need and she's treating him like a three-year-old. Me too, for that matter. Bless your heart. When you married me, you got the whole family. <laughs> Do I have to keep her? <laughs> Richard. You know, is mom softening any at all? Catherine said that they had a good talk over dinner last night. I don't know, Sandra. She did go to church with us last night. It seems God has been doing so much in all of our lives, but your mom doesn't let on about anything. We're closer and more vulnerable, but not your mom. Marge is very angry. I wish she could see Jesus working through all of this the way you do. Are you sure she's your mother? Richard, <laughs> you know, You know, same we have to talk about. Sandra, oh, hey, sweet. please. Let's not think about that now. No, honey, really. There are some things I have to say. I know you've heard them, most of them before, but there are some things I have to say. You and Adam are my life. I'm so blessed. But now I know I'm ready. I just need to know that you are ready. Adam, you're hurting your mother. 
Mom, please don't buy him any more movies. Can't I indulge my grandson? Adam, you need to get off of no, your mother Mom. and sit in the no, chair. No, Mom, it's okay. I need him to be close to me right now. You just sit up here with Mommy. Tell me, how has school been going? And what have you been doing besides watching TV? I was just trying to keep his mind off of things. School's fine, but I really miss you, Mommy. Can't you come home soon? I miss you too, sweetie. But Mommy is very sick. And I probably won't be coming home. I know Daddy's explained to you that I probably won't be coming home. But Grandma says you might get better. Well, sometimes God has a different plan for us than what we expect. I know it's hard to understand. Listen, we need to talk about how your days are going to be different. Sandra, you know he's too young to understand this. Marge. Marge, we are not going to lie to him. We love Mommy, and she loves us very much, and we're praying for Mommy to get better. We don't know why this has happened but we're trusting God in every area of our lives, including this. Adam? Adam, the time may be coming when you and Daddy need to say goodbye to Mommy. Hi, John. How are you feeling? I've been better. Catherine sends her love. She'll be up in the morning. Adam, let's you and I go for some supper. We'll be back in later. Yeah, Adam, come back up and see me, okay? Okay, bye, Mom. Mom, please don't confuse him. Listen, Richard, when he comes back, please do not let me sleep. I've got to let him know that it's okay. Sandra. Adam will be fine. We'll all be here for him. Why don't you tell me about your day? Oh, Pastor, God is so faithful. I mean, I'm, I'm hurting and I'm, I'm afraid. But I just know that he's right here with me, helping me through each day. His presence is more real to me than I have ever known. These moments when I have my thoughts and I can talk, they are just such a gift. It's been so neat to see the way that he's been moving in the lives of my friends. If it's taken my illness for my friends to be more real, to experience love, you know, the kind of God, love that God wants us to live, then I'm thankful to Him. And then, and then there's Mom. Honey, you know your mother's gonna have to be hit by a beer truck before she sees anything real. Richard. <laughs> If you need anything, just to buzz away. Thank you, Judy. These are for you. <laughs> the whole church is praying, and Catherine and I pray every day for you. But we understand that God is in control. And we're praying His peace for your family. Thank you. You've had such an impact in our church. And I'm grateful to God for your years of faithful <coughs> service. You're the best secretary I've ever had. <coughs> Richard, could you just give me my water, honey, please? <coughs> I need to let you rest. Sandra, the whole church loves you. You are a rock. I've seen in you the light and love of Jesus in your life now more than ever. Rest well. 
John? John. Thank you for coming. I, uh... I can't handle this, John. All that God has for me right now is not enough, and this is killing me. Richard, Sandra is closer to God than ever before. It seems as if she will be with him soon. God will hold you up. He promises his comforter. Allow him to comfort you. She is so beautiful. She is so full of the Lord. Absorb yourself in that. She loves you very much, and she needs you now. She needs you to be there for Adam. God will bring you through this. Richard. Good night. I'll be out here if you need anything. I'm here, honey. Richard, could you just sit up here with me for a couple of minutes? I need to feel normal. It's OK. I'm going to be with my Jesus. I'm ready. This body hurts, but my spirit feels alive. You're going to be fine. I even see you with a new wife and a new mom for Adam. No, honey, it's okay. Really. God has given us so much. Please, go and share the blessings that God has given you. He will give you no more than he can free you from. He promises. God, please be with my husband and my son. Help him to have rest just as you've given. Be with this love of my life. Make these last days bearable. Give me strength. I love you, Sandra. in his sight 
joy comes in the morning He loves it when we kneel and pray Joy comes in the morning He provides our needs in every way Joy comes in the morning I've got joy to praise you I've got joy to love you I've got joy to dance with all my might You turn my morning into dance Joy comes in the you're the God of the second chance Joy comes in the morning As I wait on you, I'll hear your voice Joy comes in the morning And in your strength I will rejoice Joy comes in the morning I've got joy Praise you. I've got joy to love you. I've got joy mm -hmm. to dance with all my might. I've got joy to praise you. I've got joy.